In this part of the chapter, we shall look at the ratio of areas of similar plane figures. We shall start off by looking at some general examples. Now, figure 1 shows a right angled triangle with the height h1 and the base b1, while figure 2 shows a similar right angled triangle with the height h2 and the base b2. Therefore, the ratio of the areas of these two triangles can be given by a1 over a2 equals to half times base times height for figure 1 over half times b2 times h2 for figure 2. Now, to recall, for similar figures, the ratio of the corresponding length are the same. And hence, we can replace h1 over h2 by b1 over b2. Cancelling out the common terms, we will have b1 over b2 squared. Let's look at another example. We shall now look at two similar rectangles. The ratio of the corresponding areas will be equal to L1 times B1 over L2 times B2 because the area of a rectangle is given by length times breadth. Because the figures are similar, therefore the ratio of the corresponding lengths are equal and hence we can replace L1 over L2 with B1 over B2. Simplifying, we will have a1 over a2 equals to b1 over b2 squared. Next, let us look at the examples of two similar circles. a1 over a2 will be equals to pi times r1 square over pi times r2 square. Cancelling the common terms, we will have the ratio of the corresponding areas will be equals to r1 over r2 square. Therefore, a1 over a2 will be equal to the square of the ratio of the corresponding length. L1 and L2 can be any two corresponding lengths. It can be the base, it can be the height, or it can be the slant length. It doesn't matter which length you use as long as they are the corresponding lengths. Now, given that the two trapezoids are similar, find x. Since they are similar, we can use the formula for the ratio of areas of similar figures which is a1 over a2 equals to the square of l1 over l2. Now, let's substitute the values into the equation here. Can you determine what is a1 over a2? Yes, it is simply 27.5 over 82.5. Now, what about l1 over l2? Since we started with the smaller trapezium, l1 will be equals to x and L2 will be equal to 7. Note that the two lengths here are the corresponding length. Simplifying, we will have 27.5 over 82.5 equals to x squared over 49. Multiplying 49 by both sides, we will have 49 over 3 equals to x squared. In order to find x, we have to square root on both sides and we will have x equals to 4.04 rounded off to three significant figures. We ignore the negative part because length cannot be negative. Look at another example. If triangle ABC equals to 8.4 square centimeter, find the area of triangle ADE. Are these two triangles similar? Yes, using the angle 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 similarity test, we previously found that these two triangles are similar. These two angles are equal because of corresponding angles, likewise for these two angles. And this angle is the common angles. And hence by AAA, these two triangles are similar. Now, for such questions, we do not need to prove that they are similar. You just need to know that since they are similar, we can use the formula for the ratio of areas of similar figures, which is a1 over A2 equals to the square of L1 over L2. We shall now let A1 be the area of triangle ADE. And hence we will have area of triangle ADE over 8.4. Do you know what is L1 over L2? Yes, it is 9 over 4. And hence square of L1 over L2 will be the square of 9 over 4. 
Now, do take note that it is not 5 because we are looking at the triangle here instead of the trapezium. To find the area of triangle ADE, we will need to multiply 8.4 on both sides. And hence, we will have area of triangle ADE equals to 42.525 square centimeter. Because this is the answer, we do not need to round off to 3SF. Next, let's look at another example. To find the ratio of the area of triangle PQR is to the area of QRTS. In this case, note that QRTS is a trapezium. In order to find the ratio of these two areas, we will first need to find the ratio of triangle PQR and triangle TST, which is equal to the square of L1 over L2. Now, where do we substitute the value of 3 and 5? Is it on the left hand side? or on the right-hand side. Yes, we will substitute these two values onto the right-hand side. Now, once again, do recall that you can only use this formula for similar figures. Simplifying, we will have 9 over 25. So, can you figure out what is the ratio of the area of this triangle and the area of the trapezium now? The ratio of the area of this triangle is to this triangle is 9 is to 25. And so what is the ratio of the area of this triangle is to the area of this trapezium here? Yes, the ratio is 9 is to 16. We can simply use 25 here to subtract 9 to get 16. Before we move on from this example, do once again take note of this point here. In summary, if any two similar figures, A1 over A2 is equal to the L1 over L2 squared, whereby L1 and L2 can be any two corresponding lengths. Well, that's all for this part of the chapter.